All right, guys, welcome back. Let's head over to the garrison. the dames man aren't you you got some business with the captain no actually with the duke i was hoping i might be able to speak with him we're under orders not to let any civilians pass but you should be all right his eminence has heard all about you and your heroics wait here i'll go and ask so you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. No. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been under-reckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Cairn Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbreck. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. <sighs> and yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that? You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. No. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Uh, Is that what it's the other way. For her people? Do not take her Without the people, there'd be no empire. What an idiot. I'll come back later. Clive said, fuck this shit. <laughs> the citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Well, let's Speaking talk to them. On the other side of the wall. Alright, before we talk to them, 
Let's go get that sphere. Because it seems like the rest of this quest is going to be here at the garrison. Come on. It's a pretty big place. Let me search it thoroughly. Fly Ambrosia. Oh. Nice. Talk to the people and also restock. And what can I do for you? An excellent choice. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. I'll be here if you need me. Nothing like a little unrest. I just ran past one of them. I am tripping. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. 
Yeah, I fully expect that. I think most of them are going to say something similar to that. She's been taking care of the place and everyone. Even the soldiers. All right there. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely. Threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint tar bucket in hand. <laughs> Good man. Good man. I heard the dame got an eye concert with the meadows and those. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, earning for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Well, the people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? There were ghosts at the gates, not lazy. You needn't fret. The creatures are... Oh, there was one over here. Let's go talk to him first. Other two at the garrison. Townsperson. I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a sword from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Who was talking to his eminence on the dame's behalf yes i was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted but it seems my words fell on deaf ears what do you think of his plans i'm a soldier mate he tells me what to do not the uh, other way around listen i've got nothing but respect you for got no dame, backbone but i've got a family to look after that's where my loyalties lie not with the town or the empire but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us some men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. As long as you remain, the veil He's a sheep. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sambrek is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. Sabine! Captain, do you have a moment? For you? 
Certainly. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. The Imperial Army is gone. Them. Philippe. I mean them. I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. There is no empire for them to serve, so they should be free to do as they please. If they want to start anew, right. they can make their own pledges Thank and Clive. promises. Look at that big bastard back there. Protecting the people I love the is big old nice. goblin. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls. I haven't so seen one of those in a minute. Thanks again. It seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that. The same part of the plan, but let's go uh beat his ass. Yo, that took half his stun bar. Is that? Oh, I think it's an Akashic Salamander or Wyvern. Anyways, let's head back. did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... <sighs> so Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to... She hold needs to go course. speak her mind. There's no denying that. I know she said she she wasn't in a place to, but I think if she will, I think if she did, the people would back her. Deserve to be heard, Clive, to have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, His Eminence values their obedience more than their opinions, and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion, and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank. 
but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, but protecting what I care about. That's what I'm talking about. Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope, and one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, my lady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. There may be hope for Northreach yet. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke. In the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. Cool. Now time to head to the Almechian Republic. So where do we want to start? Do blacksmith blue blues um the sphere. Let's go do the sphere, get that one. We could head to Bucklad. And do trading places. Lines of sand. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just go get the sphere.
That's all of them. All right. Now we'll head over here to Dal Mill. All right. Everything's back the way it was. I don't know how. Take that, you What's know. up, Lubor? Clive. To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. That's good. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces... There may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandit's attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws. And they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time, no matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Of course. How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Always out to help a friend. In on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. What's the difference between a lord and a man? The league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver, just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Alright, this is a good spot for us to wrap it up, and when we return, we will continue doing more of the side quests. Alright, we have this one, then we have Blacksmith Blues. We'll leave this one for last. Um, we've got a side quest in Tabor, and one in Baklad. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part.